I'm about to tell Martina my final verdict. I really hope Jamie likes me, but I don't know what he'll say. I've made my final decision. So a few weeks ago, Jamie's dad and I matched our son with a beautiful girl we found on Tinder. Me and Jamie's mom have been monitoring their progress to try and make them couple. Jamie hasn't had girlfriend in too long time and need to get married soon. Ultimately, it's Jamie's decision, but we may have been a bit too pushy. Jamie is smart boy, so we will support him with what he decides to do, as long as he don't be stupid. <laughs> So over the last few weeks, I've gotten to know Martina on quite a deep level. You definitely get to know someone after spending a lot of time with them as we have together. And I feel like I've definitely reached my final decision. I think Jamie and I have gotten along really well in the last few weeks and we've definitely formed a deep connection. So I wanted to take Martina to a nice spot where I could talk to her on a deep level to give her my final verdict. Not gonna lie, I was super nervous but I respect Jamie and what he decides to do. On the walk, when I was about to see Martina, you know, I started having flashbacks of all these cute memories that we shared and all the good times that we had. And it really made me reflect on the decision I'm about to make and also how much fun I had with Martina over the past few weeks. In the car ride, I felt um, really excited to be able to see Jamie again. I think it's been like about a week since we have last met, so. Martina's a great girl, and regardless of either way I choose, I want to make sure that we're on good terms. I really couldn't tell by his body language what he was going to say, but I know he's a man who knows what he wants. Hello. Hello. How are you? I'm good, how are you? I'm good, I'm good. I feel like uh, we're on The Bachelor right now. Mm. Yeah, it does feel like that. <laughs> Well, I guess I'll start. Mm -hmm. um, I just want to say I've had a lot of fun getting to know you. I definitely feel like, you know, we get along, like we have similar personalities and similar values. But I feel like the last four dates have been a bit too short. <laughs> I do really want to get to know you more and at the moment I feel like I definitely want to continue getting to know you more. So yeah, I just want to know if you know you want to accept this rose from me to continue getting to know each other more. Yeah. Obviously, over the last couple of weeks, um, I'm getting to know you. Um, I've had a great time. In the time frame we've spent with each other, there's more than enough time to know whether or not, um, you know, we're right for each other. And from my end, I have definitely come to a conclusion whether or not I see us having a relationship together in the future. And... Sorry. Hello, uncle. Hi, Jamie. Nice to see you. Congratulations on your wedding. Uncle, when did I say I was getting married? No. No, I'm not getting married, okay? All right. Sorry about that. <laughs> um, so as I was saying, you know, I feel like over the last couple of weeks, um, you and I have really had enough time to get to know each other and I have a very good um, chem... I'm, I'm really sorry about that. Um. Hi, Mum. Hey, darling. Are you going to take your um, Easter baby tonight with these friends? Don't forget. Why are you smiling? Mum, I'm in the middle of telling Martina my verdict. Are you? Yeah. Oh, okay. I, 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 well, I've done that. Make sure you take your baby. It's really good for Mom, I'm busy. I'm busy. I'll talk to you later, okay? All right, all right, bye, 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 bye. I'm really sorry about that. Um, anyway, you know, I've had a really, really good time with you, and I feel like um, I'm really, I'm really sorry. I need a... uh, Yes, Dad. Jamie, how do I fix 
is the IP address on my computer screen when it says error message four seven nine six Dad. seven Dad. five seven Dad. I'm in the middle of a very important conversation right now. You, mom, and uncle have all called me in the space of the last one minute. I don't need you guys to babysit me all the time. I'm a grown man and I can make my own decisions, all right? Uh, okay, sorry, sorry, sorry. I get technician instead, all right? All right, I'll speak to you later. Sorry. Over the last couple of weeks of getting to know you, I've had some really great times, you know. We've been to Luna Park, we've been to the gym together, we've eaten food, we've really gotten to know each other, and uh, I've had a lot of fun with you. Mm. And it's been a really hard decision to make. You know, I've had to think about this decision for a long, long time. This leads me to what I'm about to say to you. My final decision is I think we should just be friends. Yeah, that's cool. <laughs> um, yeah. So you want to set this rose as friends? I, I don't think I can do that. <laughs> <laughs> Even though Jamie decided not to continue our relationship, I still really respect him as a great guy. Uh. <laughs> I think Martina's a great girl, and I'm super grateful to have met her. Oh, I actually feel like I'm on The Bachelor right now. <laughs> yeah, I think me and Jamie could be friends. Like, we definitely are very similar people. We get along well, so... Yeah, I feel like there's potential there. Until I find the girl that I'm gonna marry, I'm gonna stay single. I know she's out there somewhere, and for all I know, she could be watching this video right now. Man, your speech was so meaningful. Mine was so shit. I literally came up with it on the spot. Eve, what's wrong with Jamie? He breaks up with Martina. I know. I was hoping they'd get together, but clearly she isn't the right one for him. She's smart. She's good looking. Most importantly, she Chinese. Well, I can think of one problem. What? Hello, Eve. She doesn't like pigeons.